afternoon, Julie. Good afternoon, Christine. It is uh, October the 15th, 2023. Yes, Halloween's coming. Oh, it's coming. Right on. Very fast. Very fast. <laughs> yeah, and I have grandchildren that are looking forward, me, forward to me uh, running around on Halloween with them. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> but uh, today, uh, you've seen my videos again on the bullying and how it affected my life. Uh, and that's uh, the how uh, bullying can ca uh, can cause lead to a tragedy, uh, which it did. And there's a couple of things about that tragedy too that um, are are part of your story in a sense too, because uh, the shooter that, um, as I was describing, what happened with my family, and uh, that was a shooting from OC Transpo on April the sixth, uh, 1999. That I'm talking about and how it affected my family and. Again, um, part of this was uh, the shooter. He, like yourself, um, uh, coming from an indigenous indigenous background as well, it was part of the re problem. Problem was that um, the stuttering and the residential school scenario and, and traumatized by that too, and getting bullying, uh, bullying uh, in school a lot. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's what I want to talk about: is the bullying in school and just how it affected you, and and of course the bullying. That was the other thing between the bullying and the residential school scenario and how tragedy can actually occur. Your case, you never ended up in tragedy. But uh, the other thing I've uh, noticed about you over the time, and of course, I've never made fun of you about it, was the stuttering. Never, I, I never felt judged by you guys. No, not at all. You know, no. My closest friends, they, they never laugh at me, you know? But, no. uh, but yeah, yeah, but those went down the street, they're pretty bad, yes. So, yeah. but uh, you were telling me how um, the other problem was not only was there the functional family that you were in, but the stuttering was a big problem that you were bullied at school for the stuttering. Yes, yeah, a lot of stu a lot of bullying in school too. Yeah, and you, you know, and uh, growing up too. Yeah, my teenage years. So know, and my boyfriends. So your boyfriends made fun of the stuttering too. Sometimes, yeah, you know, and, and with the parents, you know, is, is she nuts or she's having a lot of problem? No, 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 I was traumatized. That's why in my childhood. That's childhood. Well, I so know, I understand what it's like because my oldest son also stuttered. So this is why in my videos I explained one of the reasons why my husband was defending the shooter from O.C. Transpo because he did not like the fact that he was getting bullied on the buses and that. And in exactly. I don't blame him at all. I don't blame him at all. You know, I understand where he comes from. Well, you I know, understand and, where you're coming from. And again, there's many similarities in our lives that... Uh, we need to realize it's not uh, bullying people or not putting people down. It's never, about... never. Don't judge nobody. Yeah. Don't judge the cover by the book. You know, understand The book that. by the cover. The uh, uh, yeah, sorry. The <laughs> book by the cover. Christine. I know. In French, we seem to talk a little backwards, but that's okay. <laughs> Always. Yeah, I've been backwards since, uh, since the day I was born. So. Well, that was the way everybody said I used to go in reverse instead of forward. Was I, was I stuck in reverse <laughs> going through my life? But I always managed to mutter through things. Me and... too. French, English, or Chinese. doesn't matter. And you know, we understand each other. Well, and of course, there's always sign language. We can use that too at times. That's helped out. A lot, but, yes. But there's been a lot of things with the bullying, and I don't know how you got through your trauma, but I, you, I with understand. God, with God, with, with, with support around me. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, and, and they're healing. And uh, yeah, a lot of he uh, healing inside myself. A lot, a lot. Because and you're uh, probably not as bad today as what you were once. I, I was really bad 20 years ago. Like, people, like, you know, like, Julie, just repeat yourself, you know? So I had to repeat myself a lot of times. Now today, people, uh, you know, like understand more about me, you know. Well, so when I met when I met you there uh, about 13 years ago, you were still doing a bit of stuttering, and it was. But I can see you've actually improved, even from the time we were in the shelter together. Yeah, well, it was in my genes too. Eh? I, I uh, you know, I had an uncle, and uh, and and my mother was stuttering a lot too. Well, this is where again we come back to the uh, you being part Blackfoot again, the residential schools because the nervousness and that. It's, I've seen this in other families where it's The trauma is going to do that to you, Christine. You know, yes. not the nervousness, but the trauma. Yeah. But this was where it was unfair for the shooter, where he was being so bullied at work that uh, it ended up that... Uh, he, tragedy. He was, tragedy. In the end, where he came back, he was let go from O.C. Transpo at the time, and he came back and decided to shoot everybody, and then he couldn't take it anymore, and he shot himself at the same time in the garage. Very sad. Very sad story, you know? 
And it is a sad story because with the bullying, it's not only um, the uh, people, immediate people that are affected by it. It affected, it had outreaching effects here on the community. It was such a shock. Very, very, very shocking story, yes. And it was, it took the whole city by surprise. The whole world now is going to know about it. And it's going to wake up uh, some people, right, like you say. Well, sometimes it's good to go back to, to the old ways. And, and some of the old stories, I should say, as to what's happened over the, over the past and make people stop and think of what they're doing because this cannot continue. And this is where we're, we're going. We've got a very bullying society, pushy society. People want to use, yeah, p- people want to use knives. They want to use guns. And it's getting a lot worse. So we really need to stop and think and find ways of how we can actually help people and stop this. And this is why I'm in this. And... As I've said, I'm here because I feel that my voice is one way of stopping it. It's not through violence. It's through, our, vo- it's through our voices. Same here. Heard. My voice is out too. I, I, don't, I don't care if I stutter or not. But, uh, but yeah, you know what? Though? See, I, I'm still standing here today and I'm, I'm still talking and uh, globally and, and I'm, I'm so proud of myself, you know? So, uh, you know, yeah. So don't judge nobody. Judge yourself. Exactly. Judge yourself. Before you judge that you're another person, judge yourself. And that's what my grandfather used to always tell me. Same here. You know, okay. Yeah. And look at something in the mirror before before judging somebody. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. Because uh, you, you reflect what's in that mirror. All the time. All and, the time. I know. And yeah. this is, like I said, the bullying has been such a big thing. And I don't think we'll <laughs> ever end up stopping on the bullying because there's always going to be something coming, coming up on the bullying but today, the bullying and these people that bull, bully, uh, they can hide behind our, our electronics today. And that's what happened. And one uh, big famous case is Amanda Todd, where that young girl was bullied by that man behind uh, our Another t- sad story, Christine. About another very sad story where she herself was being bullied by, uh, behind uh, the Facebook or, the, or electronics, literally where the, the person that bullied her, bullied her into committing suicide. And I commend her mother for coming out and speaking on her behalf, even though she's not here to talk. Me too. Bless her soul for that. Yeah. But when she came out, and it's such a tragic story, because she, uh, she had those uh, cards where she was talking about it, and she put it up herself on video for the world to see before she killed herself. So before you start bullying people, please stop and think about what you're doing. To, to the other person but because it has a ripple hurting. because yeah. it has a ripple effect right through the whole community you know the whole world people are so shocked at this and then there's other people oh to heck with it i don't care i can go ahead and bully well you go ahead and bully all you want but in the end you get caught in the trap what goes around comes around and it comes around back on you eventually so like in a man Todd's case, from what I understand, uh, the other this gentleman was doing it from another country, and guess what? He found himself back here in Canada facing our Canadian justice system. So I'm pleased with that. So that came back. The karma yes, came back. The karma came back on the bullies. Please so, stop, you know, and and, and, and stop hurting people. And then st- yeah, yeah, just please stop, uh, stop destroying people's life around, because you know they're uh, they're uh, they're important too, eh? Everyone's important. Everybody's important today. And uh, like I said, uh, our children are extremely important. Every child does matter. And as children, we all mattered. And I mean, I was bullied too for different reasons, for being different. But it's so horrible when you've got a stuttering problem. That's another thing that they just really come down with you because but on today, top of you. But today, sorry to cut you off, because you have today, <laughs> see, I'm laughing about it because, you know, this, uh, this is my personality. That's the way I am. And uh, I'm not going to change for nobody. But you became loud, you got your voice out there, and you've got a very strong, loud voice, and that's what you use today for your defense on the streets. Exactly. But it came out of your problem with the stuttering, and people need to understand that. Now you're you're being heard. Yes, and and my voice is heard now, and then right on. Good, I pulled through a lot. I know, we've all pulled through a lot, and I hope people can get back and understand more by... uh, uh, looking at my videos, uh, bullying uh, bullying can lead to a tragedy there because it's uh, it's a three part story, but it's a long story and um, how it affected my family uh, this bullying and what was going on because it wasn't just a um, shooter that was bullied. My husband was bull- being bullied in the garage, so there's a whole big story about the that. Scenario. Yeah. 
So this yeah, is but my story too uh, about my family too. You know, uh, yeah, you know, like, don't laugh about my mother or or you know or my no, uncle. No one's you, laughing you, here. You know, but this but is it's over the bullying. You know, and different families. You know, we have to stick together and stay strong about the bullying. So this is where I'm going to end it today, everyone, and everyone take care. And uh, bye, mom. Bye, uncle George. I yeah, love you. Yeah. yeah. And anyone who sees bullying, please try and step in and don't let some someone get, else get bullied. It's not a pleasant thing. So, no, it's not. You know, and uh, have an ear to listen to them. You know, exactly. have a good heart to listen. Well, that's exactly it. Because sometimes even when I don't understand you, I have to ask you, can you repeat yourself? And it's not because I'm trying to be mean. Nobody's mean. Don't worry. Not anymore. I don't take it like a judgment anymore, Christine. You know, so uh, I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm more stronger with it today. So, yeah. yeah so thanks for helping me, guys. Thank and, you very much. And like I said to everyone, please speak up against the bullying and take care and we shall talk to you again soon stop the bullying and bye-bye take care be bye -bye. safe see and we later. shall see you later bye-bye bye-bye